Hi friends, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking all about clean beauty favorites from July, as well as some clean hair care favorites. So let's go ahead and get right into this video. One of the top comments I get from people is about my skin and my hair. So being 35 years old, I've accrued a lot of knowledge about how to take care of your skin and make it look its best through any season of life and it's using all natural and organic skincare products. Now, great skin and great hair really does start with what you eat and what you drink, and I have a couple videos on that already, so I'll try to link them up here somewhere in the description and in the description box below. But I wanted to share with you how, as I've gotten older, I've wanted to step up my anti-aging game and to take care of this one and only body <laughs> as a gift a little bit better because I was using really low end but still quality organic ingredients for my skincare but I wasn't doing anything special at all. I was just using a cheap facial oil from Oracacia and then a rose water spray and literally that was it. So as I've gotten older, I've definitely wanted to up my game and I wanna share these amazing products with you. I've been using them for about two and a half months at this point and they have been working wonders as you can see. So let's go ahead and talk about the first section which is going to be skincare, then we'll talk about makeup, hair, and then um, that will be it. The first thing I want to introduce you guys to is a product line called Indie Lee. This is their um, purifying, or I'm sorry, their brightening cleanser. I really highly encourage you guys to go to their website and look up their ingredients. They actually banned 1,500 ingredients from all of their products. And I got this at a local um, shop in Tennessee where I live called The Beauty Market in Knoxville. So I will link them in the description box below. And the owner of that store said, Brie, why don't you try this stuff out? I had actually never thought to try them out and I'm hooked absolutely hooked. This cleanser works also as a mask that you can use to sit on your face and it, as you can see, it really does help to brighten your complexion and even your complexion out. It says it strengthens and protects. So I really like to use this day and night. So I'll wash my face uh, before getting ready for the day and then I'll wash my face in the evening just really do one pump two pumps at the most and just give myself a really good lather and get into m the crevices of my nose and on, on my chin and I have seen a major difference in just using this cleanser alone, but I really like to pair it with their toner, which is the CoQ10 toner and it has hyaluronic acid in it as well. Ooh, the sun just went away. Um, so if you don't know, CoQ10 is a coenzyme Q10 and it's just an amazing antioxidant. Uh, I first heard about it when I worked for Whole Foods and it was a supplement. So. It kind of surprises me to see things that you can ingest internally in skincare nowadays, which I'm a really huge fan of because it means that you have active ingredients in your skincare. Um, so I love to use this almost like you would a lotion or as a finishing spray on your makeup. So once you cleanse, you then use one or two pumps of this toner on your skin and the hyaluronic acid draws moisture to your skin and actually helps to plump your skin up. Hyaluronic acid is just an amazing naturally occurring substance in our body, but our skin, our hair, our nails, our joints, our eyes love hyaluronic acid because it really does help to lubricate and plump any kind of tissue that it comes into contact with. So you can also take hyaluronic acid internally as well. So I love seeing that in skincare and I just cannot say enough good things about this stuff right here. I'm a huge fan of Indie Lee because they use recyclable materials like glass and plastic and the size of their products are actually really generous. I would consider them to be a mid price point and they're on the high end for me personally. I've never spent that much on skincare before, but I, I know that there are products that are a lot higher end and then there are products that are a lot lower end, but still within that natural and organic kind of um, demographic, you could say. I really did learn recently that it is very wise to use a system of skincare. You want to stick with products that are within the same system. So as you can see, I'm using 
Indie Lee products. And then I learned this from a French makeup artist who has phenomenal skin as well. And she said that you want to give a system of skincare like two months for your skin to adjust to the ingredients, for your skin to respond. And I stuck to that and I've been faithful with washing my, my face uh, morning and evening and I have noticed a huge change in the quality and texture and hydration of my skin because I was starting to feel like my skin was getting dried out. The other product from Indie Lee that I highly recommend is their Squalene Facial Oil and I'm totally out so I, ne I really need to go get some more. But this will hydrate and renew. There's lots of other amazing ingredients that come in in the Squalene Facial Oil so look them up on their website and everything is linked in the description box below, as you know, because I wanna make it convenient for you. But squalene is um, just super hydrating. Your skin loves it, and this is olive oil derived, so I've noticed a big difference from using this. Now, they make a little bit of, of a higher end facial oil, which I have tried a sample of. Let me say, that stuff was amazing. So I wish I could afford that. I think it's around $65 for this size, which is, you know, I don't know, girl. I just don't know. Not not gonna go there yet, although I would love to. So moving on to kind of transitioning from skincare to makeup, one last thing that I wanna talk about in the skincare department is the um, Organic Pharmacy Self Tanner. So this stuff is really interesting. I got this on goop.com a while back and they were having a sale and I just thought, why not try it because it's normally a little bit out of my price range but I got it for a very affordable price. And what I really like about this stuff is that it's natural and organic, and it really does help to give, if you have a fair skin tone like myself, obviously self-tanner is, is very specific to a certain group of people, but uh, that would be pasty people like me. So anyways, uh, the self-tanner is, I've tried self-tanners in the past that are natural and organic and leave a very orange tint and that's usually because they're using DHA which is a naturally occurring fatty acid that the, sin, the sun reacts to, uh, it reacts to the sun rather and it helps to shade your skin but it does leave a very orange tint. This stuff I like because it is very hydrating on my skin so I can use it as a body lotion, I can use it on my face if I want to, but it has a lovely smell, doesn't smell like suntan lotion, it doesn't smell like weirdo-ness. It does leave a nice glow without looking like you've over tanned yourself. Now you can see where you're putting it on your body because obviously it's very creamy shade, but it will still leave like a streak if you accidentally put too much like a glob in one area So I still recommend using a mitt um, to apply But it's nice if you just want to slap some lotion on your legs after a shower and a shave and then head out the door is you don't need very much like if you just use a couple pumps to like hydrate your legs it's gonna give you that natural gradual glow, but I'm still on the market for a nice self tanner so I will keep you guys posted our Sun just can't make up its mind here <laughs> it has been raining all week and I don't know today it started to get a little bit sunny but it's been raining 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 here and um, it looks like it's gonna start raining again, again even though there was just so much beautiful sunshine okay let me fix my hair a little bit okay so as we move on we will talk about the makeup darling the makeup so i'm wearing it right now it's a nice little transition so guys you may have seen this product making the rounds on the interwebs i have to say this is one of the most fantastic products without a doubt that i've ever tried in my life and that is saying a lot because i've tried a lot of natural foundations i've tried juice beauty rms uh, Cloven Hollow, Au Natural, Dr. Hauschka, Mineral Fusion. I've tried them all. I've tried a lot of them because like you guys know, I worked at Whole Foods back in the day. I worked in the um, whole body department and so I got really great samples a lot of the time. This takes the cake. Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. This is the bad boy right here. It is on the higher price point, I will tell you, but the way I justify this purchase is that 
A, I bought it when it was on sale, which your girl always buys stuff on sale. You know that, right? Always best price. Always best price. It was on sale. And then the other thing is, is that it kind of combines several different kind of products into one. So not only do you have a facial oil, which doubles as your moisturizer, because you definitely do not need a moisturizer or face cream with this stuff. It also has an SPF 40. And some have said that it's probably not enough, like if you use enough product to cover your face, you would be still lacking that total coverage for SPF 40. That's okay. I'm not super worried about sun damage. I know that might sound naive, but at least there's stuff in here. And um, I'll, I'll comment on the SPF thing again in a second. The other cool part about this is that it has, it's a serum, basically. So not only is it a moisturizer, it's also a serum. It's also a foundation. It's also an SPF. So to me, that's like four products into one. And it's really a great price when you think about it that way. On sale, I believe I paid about $50 for this. So it was, it was pricey, but worth it. As you can see, it just, my skin looks super radiant and glowy. It's, you can still see my real skin underneath, but it does give a nice coverage, I think. It has niacinamide, which is B3, great for the skin. Any kind of hair, skin, and nail supplement that you want to take is going to have a whole range of, the whole B complex. You know, it's gonna have folic acid, and it's gonna have, um, you know, B12, and B6, and B3, so you definitely want to get this active skincare. I keep coming back to that active ingredient skincare. The next thing it has is our beloved squalene, which I also believe it is olive oil derived. And then there's hyaluronic acid, which we talked about a minute ago. Why wouldn't you want this? I just don't know. What's great, this is non-nano. This is non-nano zinc oxide. Look up non-nano. Just, I'm not gonna talk about it right here, but just look it up. I love this. It is called the, the shade is Portofero ST10. This is my summer shade. You can go a little bit darker with this because I think with the SPF, the physical sunblock, I think that you're, you don't get a white cast at all. There's no ashy whiteness that comes like you would with the natural suntan lotion. I, I believe that I tried seven, eight, nine and 10, and 10 was the winner. So this little cap looks darker than my skin, but it works. It blends in seamlessly. When I put it on, it absolutely blends in seamlessly. I'll show you the color, but I'm not gonna put any on my hand because I am conserving this <laughs> beautiful, rich product. So yeah, you can see that the shade is actually, you know, quite close to my actual skin tone. It just glides right on. It's one of the most lovely products I've ever used. Ilia also makes really fantastic makeup, aside from just what I would consider that super serum skin tint to be more of a skincare product. I did want to say in conclusion about Ilia, the super serum skin tint is that they do recommend on their website that if you have too much glowiness, it will fade slightly after about an hour, which is nice just like any facial oil, really. It needs time to absorb into your skin. But if it's just a bit too much, wait about five minutes, and then you can apply a dusting powder, a finishing powder. And Ilia does make an SPF finishing powder. Supergroup makes an SPF finishing powder, and Mineral Fusion makes an SPF powder as well. So if you want additional sun protection, that's the way to get it. And we're gonna move on to my next makeup favorite of July, which is the Ilia um, Tinted Lip Conditioner in Arabian Nights. I love this, I love it so much. It is the perfect shade for my skin tone, and I really, really, really appreciate that Ilia makes products for every skin tone out there. They make products for basically Casper the Ghost, and then they make products for lovely, lovely dark brown skin tones. So you can get makeup foundation for any range of skin tone. And it's not just like, here's a super, super white, and here's a super, super brown. No, they've got a whole like spectrum from any range you can think of. So like I said with the foundation, um, 
it, I tried out six, I tried out seven, eight, nine, and ten to try to find my skin tone. So listen, I love what they're doing. This tinted lip conditioner in Arabian Nights is probably one of the most fun and luxurious skin products I've used, or lip products I should say. It's very, has a nice fragrance, so it's naturally fragranced. It doesn't smell weird, it doesn't taste weird. It is glides on, it's easy to apply. Um, it has a nice texture on my lips, it's buildable, it's active, and I feel like this has got to be one of my most favorite, favorite skincare, lip care products and lip colors that I've ever used. RMS is also my jam. Like I, I consider RMS and Elia best friends. I think their products go really well together. I love both of their products equally. I think Elia has better packaging. Sometimes RMS products sit in your makeup bag and they just start to look so worn on the outside even though they're not that old but Elia's products are holding up great so shade Arabian Nights it's a lip conditioner I love it it's buildable it's natural so good for you let's move on to natural hair care you guys know that I have talked about or maybe not um, you have a life right <laughs> so let me just say right here do you also struggle with oily hair? If so, you're going to love the next three hair care products that I have for you. Um, because of my heritage, I'm Scottish and um, Irish. That, I, t I learned from a hairdresser, is basically like the combination for the oiliest hair that you can imagine. So day two, no, I can't. I just cannot do it. Day three, you're crazy. Something's wrong with me at that point. I can't be seen. So I was searching high and low, like how do I solve the oily hair problem? How do I fix that? I discovered that A, over the years, I cannot use conditioner, so I stick with shampoo, and B, I need to use a volumizing shampoo. So I found this Rahu, Rehu, Rahu, this is a um, for body and bounce shampoo volumizing. Um, this is rainforest grown. It has the most fantastic ingredients in it. This was a pretty penny though. I got a sample on Amazon and it was this was nine dollars. I got this because my normal shampoo that I love, which is um, a really great company that I recommend all around if you want high quality ingredients, hair care, skin care but you do not want to break the bank, I highly recommend a cure. So this is actually their old packaging. This is the Vivacious Volume Shampoo with Mint and Echinacea. I've been using this bad boy for about a year and a half, two years now, and honestly, you guys, I can't tell a difference between these two products in my hair. I feel like they both treat my hair equally well. I love the smell of this one better, but this is still nice. It's just mint. I mean, what, what's wrong with mint? Nothing. I love the value of this. This is $9-ish retail. $9? Mm-mm, no. Not with this amount of grease in my hair. You know, you gotta be able to clean your hair whenever you need to. I also love that Acure makes hair care products for curly hair. They make hair care products for color treated hair. So if you've got dry hair, if you've got curly hair, if you've got oily hair and color treated hair, Acure has it all and they are one of my favorite brands and I just love their product line. I love their mission. I love that you can get them at Target and Whole Foods and I get mine on Vitacost.com. So anyways, I love Acure's products and I will be sure to link all of their stuff in the description box below. Definitely check out Vitacost.com. They are great for savings. And then the final product, and I will let you guys go after this, is the Chlorine Dry Shampoo for oil control. This stuff has absolutely done wonders for just helping me get ready in five minutes and just helping me feel refreshed and cute even though I will have second day hair or third day hair and I cannot say enough good things about this product. I love it. I tried a lot of different dry shampoos over the course of the years and tried really super natural ones and organic ones and just like powdery ones and that's the best one I've found and it may not be the most clean clean 
but it works for me and so I'm willing to go for it. But anyways, I know that was a lot of information. If I left anything out, definitely let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to share what your favorites for July are and if you're not yet a subscriber, do me a favor, subscribe. I can't believe how fast this channel has been growing and it's such an honor to get to do this with you and like this video. So that's a lot. I know that was a lot. But anyways, you guys, I hope you are just doing so well wherever you are and that you have a fantastic rest of your day wherever you are. And I will see you guys next week. Take care. Bye.